All right, good evening everyone. Bonsoir à tous and welcome to the JDRF House Party 1D for a Cure presented by Omnipod Kickoff Week MedTech session featuring tonight's Tandem Diabetes Care. These information sessions are made possible by our event sponsors, Omnipad, Sunlife, Belmedia, Sunripe, Abbott Diabetes Care, Tandem Diabetes Care, Lily, and Medtronic. So this week is a JDRF House T1D party kickoff week, and we have planned lots of great information and sessions and activities for you. Make sure to tune in all week long or for the rest of the week. And as a note, we will be recording this session to ensure it will be available to share for those who were not able to attend today. We would like to thank each of you for attending tonight's presentation with our national sponsor, Tandem Diabetes Care. We are very grateful to have Fabrizio Lamarca and Amma Kane joining us tonight to discuss the features of the T-SLIM and answer any questions you may have. If you would like to ask a question, please enter your question in the Q&A section at the bottom of your screen where there is a question button. And for our French participants, for our participants francophones, if si you want to use the options of sous-titrage, it's at the gauche of your screen. You can also pose your questions in French and they will be answered in French by our host, Amat de Tandem. Now I'm very pleased to hand it over to Fabrizio and Amat. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Kim. I'm just going to move the slide here. Uh, wonderful. Hello, everybody. Good evening. I hope this finds you all uh, safe and healthy. My name is Fabrizio Lamarca. I'm one of the territory managers with Tandem Diabetes Care. I want to first off thank uh, JDRF for inviting us this evening um, and um, for hosting these, these virtual events and for adapting so quickly to this new virtual reality that we all find ourselves in. Um, I'm very excited to be able to uh, to host this presentation for you this evening. This is a great opportunity um, for me to take you through some of the key features and benefits of the tandem pump and also to give you a little bit of history about the company. Who is tandem? Who are we? Where did we come from? And, and more importantly, why are we here? So I think I'm going to start there. Um, Tandem has been, we've been around since uh, manufacturing pumps since about the year 2011. Um, and the company was founded essentially by a group of engineers who sought out to answer one question, one simple or maybe not so simple question. And that is why aren't there more people with type one diabetes using an insulin pump? Um, and so you can imagine how challenging it is to answer that question, but to really, to really, um, to really get to a, to an answer, they had to start at the ground level. They had to go out into community um, and 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 talk to people, talk to people that had diabetes that were managing, dealing and managing this disease on a daily basis. So that's precisely what they did. They went out and they conducted over six thousand interviews with individuals that had type one with their families, with their healthcare providers to really get a sense as to what was working well and what, what wasn't working well for the people that were using pumps. What did they like about their pumps? More importantly, what didn't they like about their pumps? For those that were still on multiple injections, I think it was a question of getting a better understanding of of why they hadn't moved to an insulin pump as of yet and, and what would what would eventually lead them down that road as far as insulin pump therapy was concerned. Right from the get-go, um, Tandem has employed a very robust team of human factors research specialists. And if, for those of you that human factors is essentially the study of how people interact with technology. Um, and so we sent a group of specialists out to literally watch how people were using their insulin pumps, how they were pushing buttons, how they were navigating through the menus. Again, to get a better understanding of what was working well from a button pushing standpoint, and most importantly, what wasn't working well. And so all of this market research really formed the basis of the original design of the tandem pump. Um, I'm just gonna advance here. Um, so what we heard, what came back from all of these interviews was, Technology was a barrier. Technology is really supposed to make life easier, but in some circumstances, 
It's not. In some, in some situations, it really wasn't making things easier. It was making things more challenging. And so what people told us was if you're going to develop an insulin pump, please don't make it look like a medical device. Um, incorporate some more modern technology into the pump, technology that we're more used to dealing with, technology that's, that's integrated with our phones. Make it easy. Make it easy to teach, easy to learn, easy to train on. And ultimately, we're going to be using this device day in and day out for a long period of time. So we really want, want it to be easy to use and navigate. And so when we went to the drawing board to develop and design the concept of the tandem pump, we used two devices that, on, that were on the market that were very popular and, and uh, you know, we, we, uh, we're talking about phones here. And so the first example um, is the Motorola Razor. It was the smallest form factor phone at the time. It was a durable device. People loved their razors. Um, and, and at the same time, there was a new device that was just launching that was revolutionizing um, the, the user interface and the navigation standpoint. You know, they, uh, Apple iPhone was the first really to launch the smartphone technology. And so our engineers really try to amalgamate these two products and to get the best of both worlds. And so when you look at the form factor of the tandem pump, um, what you have is essentially the footprint of the Motorola Razor uh, combined with the user interface and the ease of navigation of the Apple iPhone. OK, uh, and so what I'm going to do now, I'd like to introduce uh, I'd like to show you my demo. Uh, so I'm just going to stop sharing my screen here so everyone can see me. I'd like to show you what the demo tandem pump looks like. So here is my tandem pump. Um, so you can see it is it is actually the smallest pump on the market, um, especially pump with a 300 unit cartridge. It is the thinnest pump on the market. So I'm, I'm just going to hold up a little dime so you can get a sense as to the thickness of this pump. It's it's very thin all the way around, very sleek design. There's really um, no buttons on this pump except for the top button here that you use to wake up the pump screen. There's a couple of features on the body of the pump that I'd like to draw your attention to. Um, first and foremost, the, there's a micro USB port right on the side of the pump. So I'm just going to hold it up so you can see. So this, there are no disposable batteries for the Tandem pump. So Tandem is a very environmentally friendly uh, company. And some of the feedback that we got from patients in those interviews was that they wanted a rechargeable battery in their pump. There, you know, most devices now that we, it, we utilize and integrate with have rechargeable batteries and the batteries have gotten much much better um, and so what tandem has built what we've built into this pump is a medical grade lithium battery the pump comes with a micro usb cable on a full charge the battery will last you um, five full days with a dexcom cgm sensor if you're not wearing a sensor you can expect the battery to run even longer than that anywhere from five to seven days um, we don't recommend letting the battery run dead. Uh, we actually recommend charging it a little bit every day. So you think about opportune times to charge the pump would be any time you're going to be disconnected. So things like showers are a great time when you hop in the shower, you disconnect from the pump. We recommend to keep one of those little micro USB cables in your bathroom. You plug it in for five to 10 minutes a day, and that will prevent your battery from ever running, uh, running dead. It'll, it'll keep a, a healthy battery life. Um, but the other thing too is that you can charge it while you're still connected to it. So if you imagine, you know, you're in the car, you find yourself in a car ride, you've got a micro USB cable in your car, you don't even have to disconnect from the pump. You can just plug it in right to the car and um, and uh, and charge it up while you drive. The charging is is actually very fast with this device. So the reported charging uh, speed is a percent every minute. But in in reality, the charging is quite a bit faster than that. So you can take a completely dead uh, battery and take it to 100% in about an hour. So um, very convenient um, and, and also very environmentally friendly because we're not putting batteries into the landfill. The other side of the pump I'm going to show you here is the insulin cartridge. So this is the cartridge that slides in. You fill this with insulin. I'm going to snap it out so you can see what the tandem cartridge looks like. So here it is. 
Um, our, our pump cartridge, I'll actually show you a demo that is opened so you can kind of see the inside of the cartridge. So our cartridges actually have a little bag inside of them. We call it a little bladder. And um, you're filling this from a filling syringe. So when you get your a box of cartridges with Tandem, you get 10 of them in a box as well as 10 filling syringes. And you fill the syringe from your insulin vial or pen fill. And then essentially you're gonna insert the filling syringe into this white, there's a little white port. Um, and you're gonna fill this uh, cartridge, this little bladder with insulin. Now, if you fill it to its max capacity, it holds 300 units, but you certainly don't have to fill it to 300 units. You could fill it to whatever you're gonna use in a three day period of time. That way on day three, when you're changing your infusion set, you're going to change your infusion set. You're going to, you know, it comes with a fresh tube. You're going to pull out a brand new cartridge and you're going to fill it with fresh insulin to make things as convenient as possible for you. The last thing I want to talk about on the cartridge is this little tube. And we get this question very often. And so I, I do want to address it. Um, we lovingly refer to this as the pigtail. And um, a lot of people ask us, why do you guys make your cartridges with a little tiny piece of tubing hanging off of it? And there is actually two reasons for that. First and foremost, we wanted to take any pressure off of the body of the pump or the cartridge. Um, the reason for that is there are many pumps, there are other pumps that when you have a battery cap or a cartridge cap that attaches directly to the pump, we sometimes have the tendency to over tighten those. And that can create hairline fractures in the pump. Um, luckily with Tandem, the pump is not plastic. The pump is a brushed uh, aluminum, but the cartridges are made of a high grade plastic. So we really wanted to avoid any cartridge damage by pulling the connector off of the cartridge itself. The second reason we did that is because it also allows us to keep the form factor of the pump thin all the way around the perimeter. So um, usually when you have a connector, you do have to widen up the body of the pump. This really allowed us to keep the pump um, slim and slick without having, you know, without having to change the form factor of the pump. Um, so, uh, so now I'd like to take you inside the pump and walk you through some of the main screens to really highlight just how easy the tandem pump is to use and to navigate. Um, I think before I do that, I want to identify one major unique benefit of Tandem, and that is that the Tandem pump is the only pump on the market that is completely software based. So what does that mean? I like to make the phone analogy because I think everyone can relate to that. Um, you think about the smartphones that we're all very accustomed to using. We're all used to seeing these OS updates coming through um, from time to time and you get the notification, you download the update on your phone, you install it, usually takes about five to 10 minutes. And once you install that update, you turn on your phone and you sometimes notice that things are a little bit different. They look a little bit different. There's some, there might be some improvements made, um, some alterations, some bug fixes. That's all done on the back end without you having to replace your phone. And so the exact same principle applies to the Tandem pump. Um, whenever Tandem decides to release a new feature or some new functionality, we can make that available through a software update. We would send an email out to all customers that are currently using Tandem, and essentially you would plug your pump in using the same USB, micro USB cable that you use to charge the pump. You plug it in, you install the update, and voila, you have the greatest, the latest and greatest that Tandem is putting forth without having to update or upgrade your pump or wait for a new pump to come um, and to get approved through the regulatory bodies, through the you know, Health Canada or through the FDA. Another great um, advantage of being able to be software based is that it allows us to actually program all of the functionality of the pump into a piece of software. And so what I'm going to show you is called the T-Simulator app, and this is available as a free download from the App Store, from the uh, uh, Google Play Store. Um, so if you'd like after this call, you'd like to download it and continue playing with the pump, you are absolutely more than welcome to do that. You know, when you're finished, you can always just delete the app. Um, so I'm just going to share my screen so you can see what the app looks like. Okay, 
So welcome into my Samsung Galaxy phone, everybody. <laughs> um, I'm going to take you uh, quickly over to, to the tandem. So this is what the logo looks like, the uh, tandem simulator. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm just going to select the uh, T-Simulator X2 with Bazel IQ technology. So voila, here it is. This is the home screen of the pump. This is fully, uh, this is a full, fully functional pump from a software standpoint, right down to the power button. So I can actually turn the pump off and on using the power button. Um, this is exactly what you're going to see if you wake up your pump and you are wearing a Dexcom uh, G6 sensor. So some um, some key highlights here on the home screen time and date, of course, is at the top. You're going to see how much insulin you have left in your cartridge here on the side. You've got your percent battery left, uh, your battery bar here. And uh, you you know, you can set a, a, um, an alarm as far as when you're running low on insulin. And you would also um, get a warning when you uh, are running low on battery. Um, what you have here at the bottom is a display of insulin on board. So it's also going to show you how much insulin is in your body actively working to lower blood sugar from a last, the last bolus and how long it's going to be working for. So how much time is left in that IOB. Front and center, what you have here is your CGM uh, your CGM trend screen. So here um, you're wearing a Dexcom G6 sensor. Um, that data, is, so the sensor is, so first of all, what I will say is um, the benefits of, of G6. This is the only, this is another very unique benefit of the tandem pump. It is the only insulin pump on the market that is currently fully integrated with Dexcom G6, with the Dexcom sensor. So what does that mean for you? Dexcom is considered to be the highest performing sensor on the market from an accuracy standpoint. Um, it is the most accurate sensor. Um, there are, as a result of that, there's really no finger sticks required when bolusing. So Health Canada has approved it. You can bolus off of it without double checking, without poking your finger and doing a finger stick. Um, the sensors all come factory calibrated, which means that when you get a sensor you and you and you get on the Dexcom, you really never testing your blood sugar. So it's a huge advantage. It's certainly um, it's certainly a lot less work to not have to poke your fingers anymore. And it is precisely why we have partnered with them um, in the integration of our pump is because of the performance of their sensor. And so what you're seeing here on the home screen, on the trend screen, Every five minutes, this the Dexcom sensor will send a blood sugar over to the pump. So you're going to see here your most current blood sugar, which is five millimoles. You're going to see a direction or a trend arrow, which shows you what direction is your blood sugar moving in. Right now, it's pretty steady, but it may look diagonal up or diagonal down. It may be pointed straight up or down, or you may see a double arrow straight up or down to denote that the blood sugar is rising or falling rapidly. Um, you've got different trend screens you can look at. So you can go from the last hour to three hours to six hours, 12 and 24 hour snapshots of your blood sugar. Um, so that's also uh, very useful. And one last thing I want to show you here on the home screen is we've added a little shortcut button. So if you push on your unit amount here, your cartridge amount here, what it will open is a status screen, which will give you some very relevant information. So it's going to show you what basal profile you're currently running. Right now I'm, I'm running my weekday basal rates. It's showing you my current basal rate, which is 0 0.625 units an hour. When did I do the last bolus? Um, my basal IQ functionality is on. Again, correction factor, carb ratio, target BG, lots of very useful information, literally from one button push right from the home screen. Um, now what I'd like to do is unlock the pump. So we've got this little one, two, three, which is an unlocking code. Um, so you just push it to open it up here. And what it does is it unlocks two buttons, options and bolus. I just want to mention also, if you wanted to add a custom code, locking code, so you lock the pump, you can do that as well with the tandem pump. So you can lock it and enter a customized um, um, code to get in. So here you've got options and bolus. I'm not going to go too deep into options, but I do want to show you that when you go into options, this is essentially where you're going to be programming every specific piece of information into the pump. This is where you would load a cartridge and do your tubing prime and fill. Um, this is where you're gonna set your basal rates. So for example, if you click on my pump, 
and you click on personal profiles, this is where you would set your basal rates. So here I have three profiles that I've set up, a weekday profile, a weekend, and an exercise profile. And a profile is really just a 24 hour period of time or routine. And, uh, and with this, with the tandem pump, you can set up to six different profiles if you, if you choose. And within each profile, you can change your basal rate up to 16 times. So there's lots of room to get very specific if you want to try to fine tune things. Um, but definitely, I think most people would consider this overkill. I don't think most people would be necessarily using all six profiles or all 16 basal rates within each profile. One thing I'd like to also mention is that if you ever find yourself in the tandem pump deep in a menu and you want to get back to your home screen, instead of clicking back, 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 you can click the back arrow here. But one quick way to do it is just to is just to click the tandem logo here and the tandem logo acts as a shortcut to navigate you right back to the home screen. Just again, just to make things really simple and really intuitive. Um, I just want to show you how to set a temporary basal rate because I think that's really important and I think it's something that um, many pumpers do on a, on a fairly regular basis. So right in the options menu, you're going to see temp rate. Um, and when you select that, you know, temporary basal rates are wonderful when you're trying to either reduce the amount of basal insulin for things like activity uh, or, or if you're, you know, increasing for things like maybe sick day management, hopefully no one's dealing with sick day management right now. Um, but if you need to increase the rate, you would do it through the temporary rate. So here it starts at 100 percent. And very simply, I would go in, I could reduce it all the way down to zero if I wanted to turn the basal off completely, or I could increase it all the way up to 250% if I really needed that much more basal insulin. In this case, I'm just going to show you, I'm going to do a 50% reduction. I'm going to hit the check and you can do it for as little as 15 minutes. This can actually, a uh, temporary rate can last up to 72 hours if you choose. So you can run, you know, an increased rate over the weekend if that's what you wanted to do. Um, in this case, I'm going to run it for five hours and I'm going to hit the check. Uh, hit the check mark and away it goes. So I've basically reduced my basal rate now by 50% for five hours. The little B has now turned to a T to denote temporary rate. And if I want to go in and cancel out, it's very, very simple to do that. I select one, two, three, and right away, it's going to automatically take me right into options. It's going to show me my temp rate is active 50%, five hours left in that temporary rate. And you guessed it. If you want to cancel out, all you do is select the little X here. You push the X, it's going to cancel. It's going to confirm. So do you want to stop that rate? Yes, I do. And the temporary rate is stopped. Um, and that's essentially how you set a temporary basal rate with the tandem pump. Quick and easy. What I really want to show you here is bolus. I think that with all this new technology coming with predictive low glucose suspend and with the hybrid closed loop system that, you know, is on the market and that, it, you know, uh, that we're bringing to market, we have to remember that 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 is automation of the basils. So we are always going to still be in control. Well, not always, but right now we are still in control of the bolus. We are still telling the pump how much we're eating and we're going to let the pump calculate um, an accurate bolus to cover that meal. So I just want to show you how easy it is to do with the tandem pump. So you're going to click on bolus. And again, huge advantage here. The pump is going to take the most current blood sugar from the Dexcom sensor. So there's really, it's, it's one less thing for you to have to think about testing and entering. Um, so it's, it's taking my most current blood sugar, which is 5.1. It's going to let me know that my blood sugar is below, my blood glucose is below the target that I've set. And so what it's going to do is it's going to do a negative correction or reduce the bolus amount a little bit to account for that. So I, I do want the pump to do that. I'm going to hit the check mark. So it's just going to say that my bolus will be adjusted. And so there's my blood sugar. Automatically, it will pre-populate in the glucose field. Again, one less thing for you to have to do and think about. Not to say that you couldn't enter it manually. If you are not wearing a Dexcom sensor, you can absolutely use the tandem pump. All you would need to do is test your blood sugar on a meter and then go in here and enter the BG manually. So you can do it. But of course, um, what a huge advantage it is to not have to do that. So there's the blood sugar. What you're telling the pump is carbs. How much are you going to eat? You just go in here to dial up your carbs. Um, so say you're going to have 52 grams of carbs. 
The beautiful thing here is that this acts also as a calculator. So if you are going to have multiple food items, instead of sitting there and having to do all the math in your head, you could just hit the plus and say, I'm going to have another 17 or 17 grams of carbs, maybe another 23. And what does that give me total? You click the equals and there it is, 92 grams of carbs. I'm going to click the check mark again. And there is my unit amount. So 7.5 units. You can click view calculation if you really want to see the breakdown of the calculation with the negative correction. But most people want to move through this as quickly as possible. So we click the check mark here. It's going to confirm the request. Click the check again. And now it's just going to ask one final question, which is, do you want to extend this bolus? Extended boluses are wonderful options for uh, certain types of food. Um, food that has a higher fat content, you know, we usually refer to pizza, pizza as being the, um, the most popular food item where we need to, to combo bolus or extend, uh, you know, do a slower extended bolus for. Um, and it's really because the fat in the pizza will slow down our body's ability to absorb those carbs. What you'll notice is blood sugars may start to rise rapidly four or five hours later. And so really the pump, you can, you can tell the pump, don't give me all of this 7.5 up front. Give it to me slowly over an extended period of time. And to do that, I just have to toggle this feature on, extended, hit the check mark, and it takes me into the screen that asks me, how do you want to deliver it? Do you want to deliver it? Now, this defaults to 50-50 because I believe that is what many healthcare professionals will, will kind of give you as a starting point. Um, this is, uh, un unfortunately, this is, it does require some trial and error because what works for one may not work for, uh, for everybody. So you may need to fiddle with this, but these are all programmable. So I could go in and say, I want a little bit less upfront, maybe give me 30% now, 70% uh, over a duration, a little bit longer, let's say maybe five hours, hit the check mark, once you hit the check mark, it will confirm because Health Canada does uh, require us to uh, to confirm every uh, you know every command that you tell the pump to do. Shows you the unit amount, so you're what you're going to get now, what you're going to get later in the duration, and then one more check to deliver the bolus. So basically. Um, I've delivered a bolus, a very easy to do. Um, you don't have to go through all those steps and I can show you how to, how to you know, um, if you just wanted to enter a unit amount, you can do that as well. Um, but if you did this, if you bolus by mistake or you gave too much by mistake and you wanted to cancel, you just click the one, two, three, and you can see here, the buttons have changed a little bit. Now this is the options and the bolus is bigger because you can see the bolus is currently being delivered. So you guessed it, if you wanna cancel, you just click that little X to stop that bolus. It's going to ask you if you're sure that you wanna cancel out of that bolus. So I click yes, and it's gonna show you what was delivered, or sorry, what was what you were intending on delivering, 7.5, and what was actually delivered, so you know what you missed, okay? Um, so quick and easy, uh, and, and that is essentially how you bolus with this pump, very simple to do. I think what I really want to focus on right now is the latest feature that we've launched. Uh, and here in Canada, uh, the, the feature is called Basil IQ. We It launched at the beginning of this year in January of 2020. And so what is Basil IQ? Basil IQ is a predictive low glucose suspend algorithm. Um, so what does it mean? It means that it does uh, require that you wear a Dexcom G6 sensor. So once you're wearing the sensor, the sensor is going to send the blood sugars over to the pump every five minutes. And what the basal IQ will do is it's going to take your current blood sugar. So right now my current blood sugar is 5.1. It's going to run that blood sugar through an algorithm to predict what my blood sugar is gonna be in 30 minutes, in half an hour. And if it determines that my blood sugar is gonna be below 4.4, it's gonna suspend the insulin, it's gonna suspend the basal insulin for a period of five minutes. And so it waits five minutes until it receives the next blood sugar from the sensor, and it essentially does a reassessment to say, are you still gonna be below 4.4? Do I stay suspended or do I resume? Kind of like a light switch. And so as soon as it detects that the blood sugar is rising, it will resume the uh, basal insulin delivery. Um, but I just wanna simulate it here so you can see what it looks like on the trend screen. So once I click simulate, what it's gonna do is run through the hours of the day and it's going to see when it catches a low. So here's the first one. 
So the B turned to an S, as uh, which means suspend. Um, and so you can see here that my blood sugar is not low. It's actually um, uh, 7.8. But the prediction is that in 30 minutes, I will be below 4.4. And so the pump decided to suspend um, to suspend the insulin. And so as I continue through the hours, you're going to start to see these lines showing up on your trend screen. These bars or lines are denoting suspensions. So this is when the basal IQ is activating and it's suspending the insulin. The thickness of the line is the duration or how long it stayed suspended for. The whole purpose of this feature is to stop you from going low. Um, it, it catches the low and subsequently, because we're not going low, we're not treating that low. And so what it's doing, it's kind of a double-edged sword. It's, it's stopping the low and it's also stopping the subsequent high that could result from over-treating a low. The other um, really useful, um, uh, uh, I think, thing that really sets this feature apart is that this feature is happening in the background quietly without alarming or alerting or asking for a calibration or doing any of that stuff. Um, you know, it, it because the reason for that is because it's suspending when your blood sugar is still in euglycemia, when it's still in target. It's resuming when your blood sugar is still in target. So there's really no reason that it needs to alarm or alert you that it's doing anything. It's just working to prevent those lows in the background without you knowing. And I think that is one of the biggest takeaway features um, of the Basil IQ. Um, at the end of the day, Basil IQ launched uh, in January here in Canada. We sent an email out to all our current customers. So if you chose a tandem pump a year ago when we, you know, when we when tandem launched in Canada, um, we sent an email to you to let you know Basil IQ is here. Um, there is a, a module that you would need to complete to kind of take you through some of these changes. What what's going to look a little bit different in your pump with the Basil IQ functionality, um, and then you got a code, and that code was linked to your serial number. You plug your pump in via the micro USB. Um, you run the five minute update. And voila, you have all tandem pumpers have access to Basil IQ completely free of charge. Um, just to let you know, this process will be exactly the same as we move forward to our next uh, launch, will, uh, which, which uh, hopefully will be at some point in the near future. Um, so it will be the exact same process. So that in a nutshell is the tandem pump. This is our simulator. What I'll do is I'll stop sharing my screen now because I uh, have a couple things that I'd I'd like to also take you through. Um, one of the things I'd like to talk to you about is infusion sets and infusion set technology. I have two examples of infusion sets, two of the more popular infusion sets that um, that Tandem offers. Um, we have a variety of infusion sets and we actually partnered with Uno Medical, which is widely considered to be the best manufacturer of infusion set technology. Um, these two sets are very popular because they have automatic inserters. So this set here is called AutoSoft 90. It goes in at a 90 degree angle and you've got the set, the tubing and the inserter all built into this one little convenient device, um, which actually can be inserted using one hand. Um, but not everyone wants to use a straight in does you know not everyone wants their infusion set to go in at a 90 degree we also have one called autosoft 30 which inserts at a 30 degree angle um, so i'll show you what they look like on the body so this is the um, autosoft 90 and this is autosoft 30 so um, both have a very small form factor or footprint um, these both come with inserters and one is not better than the other they uh, they both work very well. It really comes down to personal preference and comfort and what you feel more comfortable with and what is going to work better for you. Some people will gravitate to one or the other. Some people will use both depending on where they're inserting on their body. Um, some people don't want to have an automatic inserter and we have these sets available in a manual format as well for those people that just don't want an inserter for their infusion set. Um, so, and it's really important to have choice with infusion sets because again, at the beginning, you may not know what's gonna work best and you need to have options to be able to try to figure out which way you wanna go. And if you ever run into issues, troubleshooting one of the sets, we, we want to be able to troubleshoot using other infusion sets. So having that infusion set choice um, is, uh, is very important. The last thing that I, I'd like to 
um, that I'd like to talk to you about is is service. Um, and you know, Tandem is really second to none when it comes to customer care and service. Um, so we have a our customer care is located out of Markham, Ontario, as well as our tech support. Our main tech support and our main customer care is out of the head office, which is based out of San Diego, California. But of course, if you're if you're getting a tandem pump, depending on where you are in Canada, uh, from one province, it may it may change a little bit from one province to the next. Uh, but you will have anywhere between a four and a five year warranty with the pump, which means if anything during that time, during the time that you're wearing the pump, if anything goes wrong, you call the one eight hundred number. You get plugged right into Markham, Ontario. You talk with a tech support individual, and um, if the device needs to be replaced, it will re it will be replaced next day um, or same day. Um, so we actually just signed up with Apple Express, which is a essentially it's a delivery service for pumps, and it's across Canada. And so what that means is if someone's pump goes down we can ensure that a pump gets delivered uh, within four to five hours uh, right to the door wherever you find yourself in Canada. Um, we also have free vacation loaners available as well. So if you ever are going out of country, um, we, we invite you to inform us, let us know that you're going, give us a few weeks notice, um, and we will be more than happy to send you a free loaner pump to take with you on vacation. That way, if you ever find yourself in trouble and your primary tandem pump goes down, You've got a backup. You don't have to figure out uh, how to go back to multiple injections. Um, and ultimately, what I tell everyone that I interact with, and I know my colleagues do the same, is that you know we can't guarantee that every person's experience is going to be positive all the time. But what we can commit to and what we can promise is that if you let us know uh, and we do want to know about it when something is not going well, you know, not going well, we want to be informed so that we can take that back and rectify it whichever way possible. Um, we are committed to making the experience positive and seamless. Um, and if it's not, we do invite you to let us know and, and we will do our utmost uh, to, to make it better for you. So with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for your attention. Um, and, and I think we should just open it up for some questions. Perfect. Thank you so much, Fabrizio. That was uh, very, very informative. Uh, we did receive quite a few questions, so I'll start right away with the first one. So the first one is, what supplies come with the pump? Uh, is it a monthly order for catheters or in cartridge? Yeah, so, you know, really, we are more than happy to send uh, samples with the pump. I always tell individuals who are selecting a pump, let me know when you try the samples, let me know what infusion sets you want to go with. I'd be more than happy to send you a box of infusion sets of your choice, as well as a box of cartridges. Um, the pump will come with a clip. So this is what the clip looks like. So it's a, it's a hard plastic clip um, with a uh, movable actual clip part. So you can either wear it vertically or horizontally. The clip is black and we do make different colors available. So I always recommend to anybody that I'm interacting with to say you're going to get a black clip. But if you want to have you know a different color clip, please let me know. I make that available free of charge as well. There are also a number of third party um, third party accessories that you can order online, um, you know, whether it they be clips or pouches uh, or or or, you know, screen colorful screen protectors. The pump actually also does come with a screen protector on it. So if people are worried, you know, similar to the phone, if they're worried about dropping their phone and cracking the screen, um, not to worry. The screen is protected right out of the box. So you will have a screen protector with your pump. Perfect. Uh, next question. Does Tandem have a recommendation for what duration of time is safe for basal IQ to be activated during a single day? One hour, two hours, or more? Uh, I, how, how long you should have basal IQ active during the day? I think, I think the whole idea is to have it on all the time. I think that is the recommendation. You know, this feature, when you get a, a tandem pump today, or when you run the update, if you had a T-Slim without basal IQ and you ran the update, it defaults to on. So it's literally a, a toggle that you turn the feature on or off. Once it's on and, and, and provided you are wearing a Dexcom G6 sensor, it will be working in the background. And so there really isn't a situation where I could say, 
I wouldn't want to have that functionality running in the background. Perfect. Uh, now a question in French. Est-ce que la pompe est à l'épreuve de l'eau? Oui, en fait, euh, je me présente. Là, c'est Fabrizio qui a fait toute la présentation en anglais. Donc, euh, moi, je suis le, le représentant pour la région de Québec. Euh, mon nom, c'est Amat Ken, donc je couvre toute la province. Um, oui, effectivement, la pompe de tandem est à l'épreuve de l'eau, donc pour euh, en trois pieds 30 minutes. Donc, c'est extrêmement important de voir que um, on peut se doucher avec. Ce n'est pas recommandé de nager avec la pompe parce que justement, il y a un port micro USB où on littéralement pour charger la pompe. Donc, on évite quand même à cause de la pression, il y a ce qu'on appelle des O-rings dans ce, dans, dans ce port-là. Et pour éviter que la pression ouvre ces O-rings et laisse passer l'eau, on, on respecte quand même la pression qui est recommandée par le manuel. Mais sinon, la pompe prend de l'eau quand même trois pieds, 30 minutes. En profondeur, c'est quand même assez étanche pour des douches et tout ce qu'on peut. Merci, Amma. Um, next question in English. Does my doctor have access to all my data? Uh, so right now with Tandem, um, Tandem is linked and, and we, we use a piece of software called Diasend. Um, the Diasend is available in the health, so healthcare professionals have access to Diasend, but really um, when uh, an individual starts on Tandem and they set up a Diasend account, they have to decide that they want to share their data with their healthcare team. And so the healthcare team would provide them with a code and when they set up Diasend from home, they have the option to enter that code. If they enter that code, it means that every time they do download their pump, um, they will, their healthcare team will see the latest update, the, you know, their, all their latest data. So that is um, an entirely voluntary, uh, voluntary thing. And I just wanted to add on the software question that actually the Dyson software is very well known to our healthcare professional community. We've been using it for many, many years with the Animus Pump at, at first. Then the Omnipod is using Dyson to be downloaded as well. So people know very well the, the, uh, the Dyson software. So most of the time they don't even need a new, uh, a new installation because the hospital already have a Dyson box installed. Exactly. Yeah, thanks, Matt. Um, une question de la part de Clara. J'aimerais savoir comment ça fonctionne quand on part en voyage et est-ce que ma pompe de backup peut être en français? Oui. En fait, quand vous allez recevoir la pompe de backup qui est gratuite, vous allez la voir. Donc, ce qui se passe, c'est que quand vous êtes en voyage et que votre pompe est brisée, vous appelez le support technique. Et on va vous dire exactement ce qu'il faut faire parce que la pompe, une fois que tu le branches pour l'allumer, automatiquement, il te demande le langage que tu veux choisir. Donc, tu peux le choisir en français ou en anglais, dépendamment de qu'est-ce que tu parles. Et là, automatiquement, il va faire la programmation en français. Et euh, si jamais, en fait, tu connais tes, euh, ton programme de basal et tout ça, nos techniciens vont t'aider à rentrer ces, ces données dans la pompe. Donc, c'est très facile. C'est pour ça que c'est important de toujours télécharger ta pompe dans DSN. Au cas où ta pompe brise, tu peux aller sur DSN pour récupérer tes paramètres de pompe et les mettre dans la nouvelle pompe. Donc, c'est comme ça que ça se passe. Thank you. Um, question from Colleen. How, how long can you be disconnected from the pump? And she's thinking about activities like swimming or gymnastics. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, the recommendation, of course, is you want to be connected as much as possible to the to the device. Um, there are ways in, in, in there are strategies when you're dealing with moments and time when you're going to be disconnected from the pump to handle that. Um, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not at liberty to give that medical advice, but what I would suggest is they talk to their healthcare team. Um, to just uh, get a few pieces of, of advice as far as there are ways to do it. Um, and, you know, and, and some strategies would be including, you know, giving a little bit of a, a, a little minute bolus before disconnecting, or if they're going to be really active and they reconnect, giving at least a portion of what was missed um, after they reconnect from the pump. But of course, for something like gymnastics or where 
where there's there vigorous activity, you're not going to want to give the entire bolus missed or uh, the you know bolus for the entire basil that's missed because she won't need that essentially. But again, please uh, follow up with your diabetes team um, and to get some some medical advice on how to on how to handle those situations. And again, for that question, I just wanted to add that. Um, disconnecting the pump for exercise for, or any other reason doesn't mean missing basal insulin. There is a way actually to replace that basal you're missing when you're disconnecting. That's why when you're having the training on the pump, the, 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 the tandem pump trainer will teach you how to disconnect the pump. These are healthcare professional um, questions and advice and they will be more than happy actually to train you on it. Most of the patients who start on the pump know how to disconnect. So this is this is just a, a, a training model. Um, a parent would like to know if um, tandem pump shares data with the parents on an app just like the Dexcom does. Yeah, great question. So at this point, uh, at this point, no. Uh, so, so at this point, you know, when you're wearing the Dexcom data, so the nice thing is, again, we're linked with Dexcom G6. So what does that mean? It means that the G6 sensor is going to send the data to the pump and it can also send the data at the same time to the phone. And so if, you know, if it's, if it's a parents with little ones and the little one has a device with them, a phone with them, once that, that data is in the phone, then parents can follow that data through the follow app with Dexcom. At this point, Tandem doesn't, but we are headed in that uh, direction. We are certainly headed in that direction. Again, and, and unfortunately, I'd love to be able to open up and speak about all these exciting products that Tandem is innovating and bringing to market. Um, there is quite a bit happening uh, in the background as far as innovation and as far as integrating the mobile phone into the, into the mix and into the flow. Um, but because these products are in the back room and they are unapproved, I unfortunately can't really speak much more. I don't know, Matt, if you want to add anything to what I said. Yeah, and that's exactly what I would say. Actually, we cannot discuss anything that's not approved um, in Canada yet, but uh, stay tuned. There is a lot of exciting things actually coming uh, um, with Tandem. And the, the, the good thing you need to understand that anything that comes and it's new with Tandem, you do not need to purchase a new pump. The pump is a software base, whether it's an application or a new feature or actually um, a, a new functionality on the pump, you will get it at no cost and through actually a software update. So there is a lot of good things that's happening, but it's a great question. And as, as Fab said, um, we are going towards that direction. Um, a clarification from a previous quest question. So the person um, asked a question regarding the uh, basal IQ. She's saying, I understand it is always on, but is it safe if it suspends basal insulin for several hours per day? Uh, Matt, you want to take it? Go ahead. Yes. So, so basically, if you understand how basal IQ works, actually, um, it's very rare that it's it, it suspend for for long period of time. Um, if it happens, obviously there is a reason, and then you can discuss those patterns with your healthcare professional. But basal IQ actually is done to just to suspend just enough time so the blood sugar rise and then release the basal. So we have like uh, thousands of patients using basal IQ actually in the US and in Canada. And I can guarantee you that actually people do not turn it off temporarily and turn it back on because it's also a safety net for when you're sleeping or when you're doing things and you're busy and then a low blood glucose is coming. It will just suspend. The suspension can be five minutes, can be 10 minutes, can be an hour, um, a maximum of two hours within a 2.5 hours period. So it's very important to understand that there is no really a safety issue because this algorithm has been tested in like multiple sites in the US and then for many, many years before actually we can um, do a pivotal trial and then submit it to Health Canada and FDA and get approved. But definitely the recommendation you're getting is to let basal IQ go on 24 hours. 
Yeah, and just just to bounce off of that, I uh, just to add to that, Matt, I think, uh, uh, you know, when you when you activate the bees like you functionality and you and you're wearing it from one day to the next, you may notice that there are days where you will have very few suspensions, you know, five, 10, 15 minutes total time in suspension. There are days where you may have much longer than that in suspension. Uh, and so, uh, you know, I think the most important thing is not to look at one day and panic um, because every day with diabetes, as we know, is different. And if you notice that it does vary from one day to the next, it just means that the function, the feature is, is working. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Have, if you do end up noticing that there are very long suspensions um, and these suspensions are happening you know, day after day, then maybe it's, it's time to talk to your diabetes educator um, and, and, and maybe look at basal rates or maybe adjusting some of the pump settings. So that's that's what I would say to that. Yeah, and the, the pivotal study we did on basal IQ, actually, you can notice that the average time suspended actually per day was 17 minutes. So, and then there was like a 30% reduction of uh, hypoglycemia. So it's really working and you don't have to worry about having this long suspension because it doesn't happen quite often. And if it happens, there is a reason. And that's the beautiful thing. You can use basal IQ and those patterns to make basal adjustment if you have those patterns with your healthcare professional and discussing those reports on the ISO. Um, two more questions. Uh, do you have an automated program for delivery of supplies? And are we able to purchase supplies through a third party? Uh, that's a good question. I'm at, do you, I know that supplies are ordered through Diabetes Express is essentially where all the supplies are ordered uh, from right now. Uh, and currently it is the the only uh, the only outlet as far as where uh, you know individuals can order supplies from. Um, that may change as we move forward and as as we continue to expand uh, here in Canada. But as far as automated delivery, I'm not sure. Maybe Matt, you can answer this better than than I. And 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 yes. And the reason why we choose Diabetes Express it's because it's a very well known pharmacy that actually operates online and you can give a call also to the customer service team and they will place your order but if you do want an automated delivery with them you can make it work actually if you talk to the customer service team and tell them how you want your your supplies to be delivered and when you want it to be delivered it can be automated with them as well um, and the last question in French, si la pompe ne nous convient pas, est-ce qu'il y a un système de période d'essai? Oui, en fait, avec Tandem, um, il y a une période de 30 jours normalement. Donc, si jamais vous n'avez pas la pompe, il n'y a pas de problème. Vous pouvez appeler le service de clientèle. On est très facile, en fait, à voir que si la pompe ne vous convient pas, et n'est pas pour vous. On ne vous pose pas de questions um, pour prendre la pompe. On ne vous rend pas la vie difficile. Um, nous, on veut que les gens qui sont sur Tandem soient des patients qui sont très satisfaits avec le produit. On ne va jamais vous forcer un produit que vous ne voulez pas porter. Donc, uh, généralement, quand la personne n'aime pas la pompe, il n'y a aucun problème. On la reprend dans une période de 30 jours. Si ça dépasse les 30 jours et qu'il y a, par exemple, um, une raison valable pour retourner la pompe et que tu as dépassé les 30 jours, avec une approbation du manager ou du directeur de vente, il n'y a pas de problème, on, on va la reprendre aussi. Perfect. Thank you so much, Fabrizio and Amat, for this very informative session. And a huge thank you to our event sponsors, Omnipod, Sun Life, Bell Media, Sunrise, Abbott Diabetes Care, Tandem Diabetes Care, Lily and Medtronic for making these sessions possible. A recording of tonight's discussion will be available on JDRF's YouTube channel in coming weeks. Thank you for all of you who have been registered to the JDRF House Tea Party for a Cure on June 14th. The JDRF House Party for a Cure is a one-day family-friendly virtual and interactive house party that will rally together those affected by type 1 diabetes to unite and raise funds to accelerate the pace of type 1 diabetes research. Please visit jdrfparty.ca or in French, frgparty.ca for more information or to register. Thank you again, and together we are more than type 1.